Mercy, played here by Rachel from Tamworth Castle, is wearing an outfit inspired by an extant ensemble held in the Germanisches National Museum in Nuremberg. The kirtle, which has a front panel of tawny silk, has been embroidered with couch black linen thread and embellished with over 2,800 pearls and black glass bugles. The hem of the kirtle is stiffened with canvas to help it stand out, and the sleeves, which are laced in, are also embellished in the same way. Over this, she wears a black velvet loose gown, which has rows of satin strips, which are again embroidered with black couched cord. The original gown had over a hundred high dorset high top buttons used as decoration. However, as these take half an hour each to make, the cost would have substantially exceeded budget, and so we chose to use corded frogs instead. She's wearing an unusual form of atipus on her head, created over wire from silk organza. This was taken from a portrait by Corvus the Elder. The rug is supported by the very stiff collar. The outfit took in excess of 100 hours to make. Kirsty, as Elizabeth I, is wearing an outfit based on the portrait of Elizabeth Buxton, held at Norwich Castle Museum, and the embroidery has been copied directly from this image. The gown of pale blue and cream silk damask is worn over her wheel farthingale, silk garden petticoat, and heavily boned silk bodies based on the effigy of Elizabeth I in Westminster Abbey. Kirsty is a size 8 and the corset took 80 plus bones. The calf pleated skirt has a frill at the edge of the farthingale. Historically, the frill was pinned into place, so plenty of time was needed for dressing. The front of the skirt has an integral apron of fine silk organza, embellished with pearls, ornaments and lace. The deep lace-edged open rug is supported by a support ass made of silver wire. This, the creation of this outfit also burns some midnight oil, taking over 110 hours. I made both of these. Thank you both. Races. The 1964 film won 10 nominations and 21 awards, including 8 Oscars, one of which was for Best Costume, designed by Cecil B. As a costume head designer and art director, Working with a wide range of clients, 
whenever possible, she uses authentically UK woven fabrics, and the reproductions are often entirely hand sewn. Serena also conducts a lot of personal research into fashion history, and her articles very often appear in your wardrobe unlocked. She is also involved in events around the country, giving lectures on her latest research and events, such as the Jane Austen Festival. Thank you. 